Today I'm going to show you how to put a picture into a laptop screen. Hello my friends and let's get started. So this is the laptop and this is the picture that we are going to put into the laptop screen. The first thing you need to do is go up here to view, go to snapping manager and this deselect this option so the snapping is disabled. The next thing we're going to do is select our uh, layer of the picture we want to put into the screen and reduce the opacity so you can see comfortably onto the background of the picture and where the laptop is. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is zoom into the picture a little bit so we have better detail to work better with the perspective tool. And now we are going to select the perspective tool. There we go, there we have it. And we can use these little corners here to move the picture around and put it into the corners of the screen. And you have these white lines which are a little bit distracting, but you can hide them when you press the space bar, which is also the way to move the picture around when you click. This is why you have this little hand here. So this will help us. And one tip I want to give you is to put the picture a little bit outside of the actual screen border. So it's a little bit bigger than it should be. Otherwise you might have screen sticking out on the back. Okay, let's go down here and put this down here. Let's see, a little bit bigger. There we go. Okay, that looks good. Let's move over here. Push this up here. A little bit bigger. There we go. That also looks good. Move up here. A little bit bigger again. And that looks pretty good. Okay, let's click on apply. And let's see what we've got. Um, set the opacity back to 100%. And there we go. This is the first step. We have to do some more adjustments. We're not done yet. The next thing that I like to do is go down here to adjustments and create a color balance. And the color balance will help us to create a little bit of an ambient light feel because when you have a picture on a laptop screen, of course the screen is hit by the light from the surrounding room. So it looks a little bit different and also the screen makes the picture and the colors a little bit different. So use these faders to move it a little bit around until you feel it looks like it's actually on the screen and it's actually in the room in the picture. And this is pretty, a pretty subtle adjustment as you can see. So this is without the adjustment and this is with the adjustment. It's a very slight kind of thing to do, but it really changes the feel that you really feel the picture is now inside of this scenery and on the laptop screen. But we are not done yet. You can stop at this point, but I like to add a reflection in or on the screen so it looks more realistic. So what we're going to do is we click on the picture layer and right click and create a group, which for now just holds the picture layer. The next thing we're going to do is pull our color balance adjustment inside of the group. And then you're going to click on the picture layer again and hold control and click so it makes this kind of selection frame and click down here onto the mask layer. There we go. It creates a mask for us and we will pull this mask on top of the other layers inside of the group. Then you can click control D or hold control D on your keyboard to deselect your selection. And the reason why we need the mask is because now we are going to create some shapes. So we take the rectangle tool and we will draw a huge white shape to start with. So this is black. Let's set the fill color to white. And then we make another one. And this one is going to be black in color. There we go. And we make a third one which comes in from the left, or uh, better say the right side and connects to the black layer. There we go. Very nice. So we have these three shapes and we will select all of these three layers and with control G, like green control G, we will create them into a group and then pull the group into the group that we created before, but below the mask layer. And you can see everything outside is hidden. Um, so we can use this to now rotate the group. So 
it feels like this could be a reflection of a window that's opposite of the screen of the laptop. The next thing that we need to do is we will set the black layers to multiply. There we go, multiply. And the white layer we will set to screen. There we go. And then you can click on the group again for our black and white shapes and you can reduce the opacity until you feel it has reached a level of reflection that looks good to you. Maybe like this. And another thing that you can do because the reflection is getting blurry the more distance you have to the picture, you can go to effects and click here on blur and then adjust the blur to your taste. You can make it really blurry or just a little bit blurry. So this is really up to you and how it feels better or right to you. There we go. And of course, because we have the group in here and the mask on top of it, you can still rotate this around so it feels right to you and everything is in the position where you want it to have. And another thing you can do, of course, before we adjusted the opacity for all the layers, because we adjusted the group opacity, but if you say the white here from the window is a little bit too bright for me, you can still click, of course, on the individual layers and adjust the opacity in addition. You see? So this is very nice. Okay, this was the tutorial for, the, for today and how to put a picture into a laptop screen. Thank you for watching. If you like my videos, consider subscribing. I do a new video every two or three days. And if you want to support me and my channel, head over to Patreon where you get some additional benefits like my original files with all the layers. You can send me pictures and I give you feedback and we can even live chat. Thank you very much and see you in the next episode. Bye.